This is Bullet Bourbon's 10 year old frontier whiskey in an old school bottle that looks like you would have just dug it up in your granny's garden. What are you doing? Burying you. I'm alive, I'm alive. My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. In this video, I'm gonna try Bullet 10 year old. I'm gonna judge it on five different criteria. I'm gonna sign it a Bruzel score and we're gonna see how it stacks up against the other whiskeys we've tried. Bullet 10 year old is bottled by Bullet Distilling Co which is owned by Diageo, I believe is how you pronounce it, which owns other popular brands like Johnny Walker, Guinness, Lagavulin, and Crown Royal. The brand was founded in the mid 80s by Tom Bullet, allegedly by a recipe handed down from his grandfather. Tom's grandfather's recipe had way too much freaking rye in it to be called bourbon. So I guess he didn't actually use that recipe, really was just more inspired by the fact that his grandpa made a really, really good high rye whiskey. Tom did the smart thing and he dialed those numbers back and used 68% corn, 28% rye, and 4% malted barley and created bullet. That is still a lot of freaking rye for a bourbon, so it's gonna be interesting to see how that tastes at 10 years old. Bullet's Distillery opened in 2019, so they're producing their own whiskey, but this is 10 years old, so they didn't freaking make it there. Hold up, something ain't right. They don't tell us who made this whiskey, but this brand was once owned by Seagram's, who also owned Four Roses and supposedly moved the production to that distillery. I don't know if these 10 year old expressions were made there or not. If you do, let me know. Let's take a look at the bottle and see what it does actually tell us. On the front, Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey, aged 10 years. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is a small batch limited bottling. It comes in at 91.2 proof and the bottom reads, from selected barrels aged longer for a character that's rich, deep, and smooth. Not much on the back, bottled by Bullet Distilling Co. in Louisville, Kentucky. On the top, my family has been making bourbon for generations with Kentucky limestone filtered water and a blend of the finest corn, barley, and rye. My great-great-grandfather knew a good thing when he tasted it, and I expect you and I do too. Best personal regards, Tom Bullet. Okay, so maybe the recipe came from his great-great-grandfather. You get the point. This bottle's fairly available at most liquor stores. Like, I don't see it literally everywhere, but I do run into it quite frequently. The MSRP on these is around $40 or $50, and I rarely see any sort of secondary markup on these just because of the availability. As I mentioned, we're gonna judge this on five different criteria, but before we get into that, it really helps me out if you'll hit the like button on this video. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, we're trying to push the boundaries and do things things that no other whiskey channels do it. Your support through Patreon and YouTube channel memberships really helps us do that. We also have a free Discord server where we just hang out and talk about whiskey. Links to all of that are in the description if you wanna know more. All right, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's get to drinking. And our fancy handy dandy Bruzel Barrelhead Glen Cairn, which you can get for a limited time at Bruzel.com. Honestly, these may be gone by the time you even see this video. So sorry about that but we'll have new designs coming soon. The first criteria is the aroma. On the nose, as they say. The distiller's notes here just say rich, oaky aromas. So they're absolutely no help whatsoever. Man, the oak just dominates that, but it's not really a bitter oak. It's overwhelming at times, a really powerful oakiness that makes it hard to pick up some other notes, but you do get a little of that kind of caramel toffee might even call it a bit of cinnamon on that. Overall, it's a really pleasant nose. I'm gonna give it a seven. And the next criteria is flavor. What does it freaking taste like? Well, the distiller's notes say, consistently smooth taste with vanilla, dried fruit, and a long, smoky finish. The oakiness definitely comes through a lot stronger on the palate than it does the nose. Like it is a little drier, a little more bitter, and so it takes away from the experience. The flavor is not as good as the nose. Now, if this was the first pour I'd had of the night, probably all I would taste is the oakiness. But I would be willing to bet that after a few sips of this, a lot of that oakiness will start to dissipate. My palate will acclimate to it a bit and I'll be able to pick up a lot more of those kind of sweet vanilla notes that I'm starting to get now with just a couple of sips of it. But I can't judge it on what it might do here in a little while if I drink the whole bottle. So I'm gonna give it a five. And the next criteria is complexity. And what we're looking for here is how it evolves as you're drinking it. Like it hits you with a little bit of sweetness up front and then it is just all kind of dry oakiness. I don't want the oak to dominate it. What I want is to taste all of that subtlety and nuance and complexity. And I feel like this one just over oaks it just a bit. And so if you really like that kind of dry, bitter oakiness, you're gonna love this. But that's not what I'm looking for in a bourbon. 
but it's still pretty good. So I give it a six. And the next criteria is mouthfeel. And what we're looking for here is the viscosity of the whiskey, like how thick it is, how well does it coat the mouth, and really hit all of those taste receptors. It's not super thick on the glass, but there is a little drainage there. But this has a little bit of a buttery smoothness to it. Like it really coats the top of the palate pretty well. Overall, I'm gonna give that a six. And the next criteria is finish. Like what does it leave you with when everything's said and done? And overall, the finish is just a, a kind of soft, bitter oak. Not bad, but not exactly what I'm looking for either. So I give it a five. And that gives Bullet 10-Year-Old a bruisal score of 29, which makes it tied right here with Michter's Toasted Barrel Sour Mash. Always fun when you get a bottle that's regularly available tied with something that's super hard and searched for. So y'all let me know where I'm wrong.